Hello, this is Wes with Buddy RC. Since the release of the new Speedix S250 Quad a few months back, we've had quite a few questions come in the door about the assembly process, the binding procedures, and even the configuration of both the CC3D and KK2 flight control boards. So what we've decided to do is put together a couple videos that outlines the procedures a little more clearly so it keeps you in the field flying instead of behind your workbench frustrated. In today's video, we are going to assemble both the BNF and ARF kits. For the assembly process, we are going to need a couple tools. A Phillips screwdriver or a jeweler's Phillips screwdriver, a 2 millimeter hex screwdriver or wrench, and a 1 millimeter hex screwdriver or wrench. Now in addition to the tools, we always keep around a couple zip ties for tidying things up and a little bit of two-sided tape just in case. We may not even need them. So let's get started by opening up the BNF kit. All right, to get started here, we have the Speedix S250 BNF or Bind and Fly. Um, you can get this in either the KK2 version flight controller or the CC3D flight controller. Realistically, the difference in installation on either one is identical. So open up the box here. First thing we're gonna notice on the BNF, we have a lot of gold outlay here in the boards all the way around the board. It is about 95% assembled. And the big thing, also big thing here, is the bottom plate is your power distribution board. It makes things a lot easier to plug in and replace. You have your motor plug-ins here, which go to your ESC and your motor on both sides. This plug right here is actually your satellite or your DSM-2 satellite plug. And on the other side, we have the flight controller. And through this black pad right here is the plugs for the flight controller. In the back, we have the satellite, the DSM-2 compatible satellite. And you will notice on the top of this here, there's an arrow down here at the bottom. That arrow actually points in the direction of the forward flight. Now to get through some of the other stuff pretty quick here, we have an action cam mounting plate. Comes with a set of props. Front FPV mount. Your landing gear. And one of the additional things that's in the box and on some of the previous models of BNF kits are already installed is an extra JR plug pigtail and what this does is allows you to plug your uh, flight controller, your uh, FPV gear, straight into the power distribution board. And if you look down here towards the front of the board, next to the audible alarm here, there is actually a 12 volt, and it will be hard to see, right there about where my finger is, there's 12 volt pin there for your FPV gear. Now some of the earlier models had this in here already installed, and a lot of people got confused and thought that it needed plugged in, and it does not. The only thing it plugs into is your FPV gear. If you try to plug it into your flight controller, you'll run the risk of damaging it. So we're going to go through a quick assembly here and try to follow along as quick as you can so we can make room for some of the other videos here. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to install our front camera mount. And in that mount comes four small Phillips screws. So we're going to plug these in here. And at the front, you will actually see a little tiny hole up here. So we're going to install those there. All right, camera mount is installed. Next thing we're going to do is flip this thing over and install the landing gear.
All right, landing gear installed. Next thing we're going to do is install our action camera mounting plate. And you do that by sticking shock absorbers here. And this can get a little tricky trying to get them all in and then on the top plate. Just take your time. All right. Now there's not gonna be a need to install the FPV wire right now. That can set off to the side. The props, we are actually gonna hold off on the props because at this point, you're pretty much ready to start programming your flight controller. You're ready to plug your battery in and that thing is really close to ready to fly. Now, because this is such a universal kit, motors are, can be changed out, the ESCs can be changed out, even the flight controller can be changed out. Um, the flight controller is not pre-programmed from the factory. Um, the difference in transmitters, there's a lot of factors that go into this to make it fly correctly. So we're going to outline the flight controller setup in a couple later videos to try to help along the process so it's not so confusing, especially for these bind and flies where people are expecting to get them out of the box and get them into the air pretty quickly. The process should be pretty quick. So if you have the bind and fly, this will be it for you. You can move on to the flight control board setup. And that should be coming either along here in the next few days or it may already be online.